the ACASOG 1071 study basically looked at clinically known positive women who then got neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Um, and then they had a sentinel lymph node dissection followed by an X-ray lymph node dissection. And we were looking for what was what the false negative rate of a sentinel node dissection was after um, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So that's basically the percentage of women who have residual disease, but the sentinel lymph node set is negative. So they would have not be identified as people with residual disease. Um, and when they did that, they looked at patients who were in one and had one or two sentinel lymph nodes removed. The false negative rate was 12.6%. Um, we're still waiting for that manuscript to come out, and I think they'll have some subset analysis that'll help us decide how to incorporate that into the practice. But at least it's thought-provoking of ways to um, look at this population. Yeah.